Hey, Dana here. Hey, welcome to my garage. If you want to see me replace a door handle on a 08 Dodge Caliber, stay tuned. Okay, what we're going to do is I'm down here at Wilbert's. I need to take one of these, get this off of here. This is kind of an advanced situation here, even though I really didn't think it was, but it is. To start with, we have to pull these black screws, which are 20 T20s, okay? Because those go all the way through, and they hold the door there. Down here, what we got here? Got a screwdriver this time, okay? Well, it could be a 10 too. 10 or a screwdriver, which we want to go uh, Phillips. All right, so that take care of that. Now, you have a bolt, a screw down through here you gotta get. Then, over here, this gotta come, this will come off. Then, let's see, where am I at? Okay, this panel, this is a panel, you wouldn't know it. Okay, this has got to pop up, and then you can get to the back side. Now, your window track is attached to the door, to, uh, to the door panel. Most vehicles that I know of don't have it like that. All you do is take out three screws, and then you lift up, pop the cover, uh, pop this off of here. This is not that easy, okay? So... Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how, how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna pop this out first. And we'll go, I'll, I'll pull you by east screw. And then you've got a T20 that actually holds this. So, stay tuned. Okay, there's a screw that goes through the, got two of them, one here, one here. Also goes through. This is the speaker. Just go ahead and pull the speaker. And then just disconnect it and you're gonna be right here. So let me take the speaker cover because it probably broke. You got those two long screws, and they got two short screws which actually hold the speaker. So just keep your screws together for your speaker speaker system in right here. All right. And just disconnect the speaker. Now we're in here. Uh, another. Okay, let's go get the bottom screws. They're ten. Uh, let me see. Okay, there you go. Um, they're tens. Okay, you see, it's long, okay? I was trying to know, why would that be so long? Well, guess what? It's attached to the bottom of your freaking window track, okay? So you got it on the other side, and that, then this one attaches to the other window track. Okay, so those are your two, two bottom panels. Also, they are your window track, bottom of your window track holders. All right, I'll go in here. Get this one here, the T20. This is a complicated situation, but somehow or rather the daughter broke her handle off. So what I did temporarily is I drilled a hole through the bay, what was left of the base, and I stuck a there's the screw for that. As you broke it off right here, I was able to drill in here and I put a bolt in there. And at least she was able to open the door. But that's not that's not really acceptable. We need to change it out. Alright, next we have to replace we have to remove that panel right there. Okay, so try to do it without uh, scratching it. It's, they just have their pull pull pins in there. It will, it will pop out and try and do it without making too much of a let me put my okay by prying around it you're going to get it see what they are they're just these freaking push push-ins so that's what you'll have you got to try and do it without scraping things up all right now 
you're going to have to disconnect this because it's again it's holding your panel and you've got and then then what happens is your actual track you unscrew these you've been removing your track out of the way um okay and then these here you're gonna have to pull up pull out and then it comes up over the top of your um doesn't bring the seal with it it just brings the other thing so got a number 10 here so that takes care when you undo those screws oh i guess there's another i've got another it's got a special thing that holds that freaking track okay now i just removed these three screws right here from this cable setup here makes it a little easier not much but it makes it easier then you got another screw that's in there and Three screws, one, two, and these three. Um, all right, you got this little panel behind here. Undo that screw and play with it. You should be able to get it to, get it to let go. And that screw, that long, long one right here. Okay, lift it up, drop it back, and now this is what you got. This is your door. This is your door window motor right here. Okay. And then another part of your handle, or, uh, part of your door, door track, puppy right here. Try to keep that in there so it don't break. But what I need to do is get a. Now this has got a uh, get one of those. Let's see it. Get one of those flip up. I figured. Uh, Flip up, I can't see. Flip it up over that shaft, and then you can pull it right out. Once you get it, once you get it moved away, you just lift that up, and now you get the shaft off. Pull four screws out of the back here, and then it's just gonna pull out. How do you rotate that? Actually, I guess you can get out of there. Because they're attached, they're attached to the back of this. And that holds that in there. Alright, so that's what I was looking for. Ah, it is a pain. Okay. And now I want to make sure. I gotta make sure that's back through there. The uh and then your alignment. Alignment for your top. Okay, what am I doing? Alignment for your top top screw coming through. Coming through here, I shove this back on here, but put your alignment, your long, your long black screw going through the back, and that's gotta screw into your top of your track. And then you'll have your lower bolts, your longer lower bolts going through the bottom, screwing to the bottom of those tracks. That's gonna be a difficult part if it isn't lined up. So there we are. You saw what I had to do. Um, you need a number 10 screwdriver, a 20, T20, and then something to pry with, something else to pry with. And I have a big hammer, but I really don't, didn't need it. So, anyway, so there you go. Those are your bottom screws. Those are your screws to hold your bottom down here, as well as your speaker. And then this one, these here, there's four of them. I lost the other one dropped down. That's for your hold, hold this puppy on. And then those three there are what hold your motor, window motor assembly on. So there we go. All right. Stay tuned. Now it's going to be going back and installing it on the daughter's vehicle. I don't forget that little puppy sits inside that there you got a panel here so there we are all right 
we'll get get home and get it installed. I'm not sure how much it's going to charge me for that. So, we'll stay tuned. Okay, we're back on hers. Man, open this door, though. No, we're not going to open. Oh, terrific. Oh, oh great. I locked myself out of it. Oh, terrific. <clears throat> oh, terrific. Now we got to get in. Uh. Mm. All right, let's get this thing back together again. Um. Mm. <clears throat> First thing. Where's the mirror? Oh, window is now dropped down on me. Um. Oh. Let me take these. Oh. I didn't take. I didn't take these out. The, uh, the motor. Motor ones up. I didn't take out first the last time. So. Um, I think it's going to be an issue. Um, I think maybe i got to put the window. Yeah. The window on the other one I had was up. So, it's going to be a... Difference in, in the tool. Not like the other one I need take the window out. Okay, I got the window locked, locked up there, so it's probably going to be the best, the best choice there. All right. About a little bit here. Okay. Get your nut back in here. Okay. Uh, All right. Put your rod in. See if I put the rod in. Okay. And get your get your piece locked in on top of it. Could you believe they're not the same? They are not the same. Ah! My advice, make sure you take the part with you that you're going to change to make sure it's the same part. Might be the same car, but it may be the same, wrong part. Same, a different part.
You believe that? And I just thought about it. Like, wait a minute. I only took two screws out of the other one. <sighs> Amazing. There's nothing here that... And there's nothing here that even mates up. There's no way to even adapt it to it. Let's go back down and get another one. We'll put these back together. It's a pain. It's a pain in the butt. <laughs> you don't want to put it back together unless it's done. Unless it's right. Because you don't want to pull this thing apart again. One out of time. Three o'clock. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I don't know if I'm working tomorrow. Got a Thursday appointment. I need to get tires on this. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do it again. I found me in a 2008 compass caliber and we're gonna go ahead and get it and this is a five this was a five speed caliber no kidding all right let's get this pulled apart i'm not gonna videotape it because uh it's just gonna take me too long to do it another tattletale is the actual this panel right here it's got one of the, it it's got a different pop-up pin also Remember that your long screws off your speaker are going to be opposite each other, okay? Up and down. Okay, also, you're going to find some that do not have electric windows. This is one of them. So what you got to do is you got to get back behind, behind here, there's a clip. You know, push that clip out, and then this will come off. This is one that doesn't have electric windows so hopefully it's easier than the ones that do have electric windows okay it doesn't have electric windows but it's still got the same tracks okay um and just because it doesn't have electric windows um it's still got the it still seems like it's got the same cable cable system running up and down it for those that do not have electric windows you're going to have three screws and they go right into the frame of the door. So if you're trying to lift this thing up, you're not going to do it because you're bolted. You're bolted into that that base back there. So keep that keep that in mind. If you're having a hard time pulling it, that's your problem. There we go. So it's just dropping out like that. Now I can get behind it. Better have two screws. Yep, two screws. We're good this time. <laughs> All right. All right. We're on our way home. Nothing like just a two-year difference between the 10 and the 8. And those freaking handles were different. Freaking amazing, huh? Just a two-year difference. And they were different. So, good advice, bring the part with you that you're going to replace. And don't take it for granted that just because it's in the same model, model years, it's going to be, it's going to be the same. All right, we're back. Let's do this again. I showed you there was a different, different design. Different design setup here.
Okay. Lift it up. Lift it up, lock it in. So now I can we can line up our long screws here and make sure that the bottoms of the Hopefully, this will line right up. Of course not. Of course not. Why would that line up? Why would that line up? Yeah, go back. Holy cow, did I get myself into a hornet's nest? <whistles> Just trying to line those stupid window tracks back up is a pain, boy, well, I'll tell you. Um, you just got to line them up down below. Get your screws in, back in there. And, uh, uh, boy, I'll tell you. All right. This is all it. Is all that matters now. All right, now I'm gonna get some screws back in here and we'll be done. <sighs> all right, after a pain in the butt, I get that back on there. Got this back on here. Okay, next thing is just to do the speaker. Um, you're getting those strings lined up under there is a freaking pain. That 2007 had or uh, 10 had another bolt right here, so you just got your two, two here. And those hold the freaking your slides for your window. All right, there we are. We're back together again. Oh man, is that a freaking challenge? Um, primary issues are just trying to get those, get your window tracks resecured by those bolt, uh, by those bolts there. Um, but, and then putting all your screws back in. So, you get your little panels that you gotta put back in. That back in, if we get that screw under there, you get this little panel right here with those screws in there. Um, so, um, and then of course, make sure when you get everything back together, the door window is functioning properly. All right. But it's not, it's not a freaking easy, easy job. <laughs> It'll take you, take you a little while to figure it out. And the door locked. And now I handle unlocking, letting this out. All right, so there we are. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, definitely share. And you'll catch me on the next Dana's Garage. And this was Project Caliber. And just a quick reminder, this door latch between the 10 and the 8 are different.